There you go. Hmm. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. I see. This is very confusing. No. I'm just trying to... I can only move this one up and down, it seems. There we go. Oh. What? This is so confusing. Oh, I think I see. It's all about the angle you look at it. Right? Yes, okay, I get it. This is a coarse tobacco. Quite strong and very popular among sailors. Get it. Okay, so that's that. So we can only assume... Everything's been examined, I think. Hmm. see something okay so we invested okay so we had we pretty much expected inspected everything here Just checking to make sure there's nothing else. Alright, so I think we're good. Let's talk to him. And get... Make ready, men. Ambush. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. Ambush, baby! We're gonna fuck this guy up. Mr. Holmes? I said ready your pistols. Mr. Holmes? <laughs> Alright. 
We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. Okay, let's do it. Running, running, running. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Yes! Yes, bitch, yes! Oh! Now, I remember I had a problem with the last testament of Sherlock Holmes. And it was, it was, I felt it was really like wishy washing. Like, I can't explain it. It was like neither here nor there. You didn't know where the game was going. But so far, I'm liking this game. I'm liking the deductions. They're way different, the more polished. Did you hear that? Can't we bust him? Bust him now! There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Yes! I'll get right there! You got fucked up, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Give it up, buddy. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Sounds good. I'd like to find out whatever I can from this guy. Where are we off to? Ins I thought I did inspect the crime scene. I guess we'll go to the Scotland Yard. All right. Examine Nelligan's belongings. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. They're all the same. Yo, I'm here to see Nelligan's belongings. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. I'm going to check Thank those you. out. Okay, so let's head on over to the evidence room. Mr. Holmes? <laughs> they, they could have at least changed that. Is this the evidence room? Yes, perfect. Let's check his shit out. These are the suspect's belongings. He's got a switchblade, a ring. Look, it's his notebook. Yeah, so he was here before. So we found this. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Ew. These abbreviate. Anything at all? No. I'll have to find out a some stuff from him. Knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Handkerchief. Actually, no, the ring. No. A handkerchief with the initials 
J H N. It's the same guy. So therefore, I'm guessing these letters are are like crewmen of the ship. Let's read this. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. And partner, 1883. Oh, let's read the whole thing. Okay, hold on. From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. So. Oh. Okay, so that's that. I need, oh, I need more evidence. Before I can... Uh, I'm sure they'll give it to me. It'll help with the murder. Let me see. Let me just pull something up. Rings engraving. Tobacco pouch. Sharp knife. Outline in the dust. So I'm curious to know what was taken. You know what? I should go back. I should go back there and, and look at more stuff. I didn't do that. Whatever. I'll talk to Buddy first. Let's see what we can uh, get from him. Locked. Locked. <laughs> Oh, wait, what's this? Is that him there? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? <laughs> Here we go. He looked different there. Now, allow me. No, be the good cop, bad cop. All right, let's have a seat. Say hello. My name is Mr. Holmes. I'd like to talk to you. Notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. The sea knife. The oh. sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Hold the phone. Let's do an analysis. Thin neck, okay. Expensive fabric. Short sleeves. There's something I'm missing. There you go, elaborate buttons. Small penis. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not right. Oh, look at his hands. Callus. Sears. All right, now we have it. Let's take a look. Oh, hold on. Okay, gold ring. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Rings engraving. Br okay. To my friend and partner. Okay. Find the use. St no. Well, 
worn an ill-fitting jacket that previously belonged to someone else, most likely his father. I don't think so. He's pretty young. Oh, I was wrong. The police seized this valuable... I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Um... Rings engraving? Yes. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then. Yes, Hardly okay, that makes more sense. ...to receive such an item from a partner. Who is the ring's owner? It's got to be his father's. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Makes sense. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Just that damn good, well, kid. I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me go. I'm innocent. Breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Maybe? Whether an unskilled and untrained man use a harpoon well enough to kill a fully... Okay. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. Cool. Harpoon throwing experiment. So we got to test to see if we can actually do that. Now before we do that though, I think I might head on back to... Uh... Uh, to, to Woodsman Lee. Because I want to see if, you know, all's well. Okay, so, because it's still, I, wait, let me, let me check something. It still wants me to inspect the crime scene. Apparently, I'm not done it. So, let's, let's do some proper work. Something I didn't catch. I'm wondering if it has to do with that, the stuff on the back. Oh my god. Seriously. Any more information from her maybe? Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? 
It is true that is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Was Peter a smoker? Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be that he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Huh. Peter's private papers. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. Aha. There wasn't a thing. I'm entering the premises to look. Oh, no, I need a warrant. Is there anything else from her we can Who get? could do such a thing? My poor husband. So she's the one who found the body then, I guess. Whoa, what are you doing, Holmes? You don't spin around without my... Okay. Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea. Yes, they have. Okay, so let me just look at something then. I think that's everything now. Oops, wrong one. Still says I have to inspect. Ha. I didn't even see those. These boots don't match the footprints. Aha, they do not. They're too small. These footprints appear to be quite large. Well, snap. I need to find someone else's boot. These footprints. Okay. There, so that's done. So that was what I missed. Sweet. Okay. So now... We're going to piece the fudge out. Somehow. Quite the beautiful garden. Okay, so we're going to go to Baker Street. We're going to reconstruct the harpoon incident with Watson. Open deduction. Task. Experiment required. Retrieving the notebook. So that's what we worked out. This we need to do the experiment. At least it lets you check on stuff. The loading screens aren't that bad, I guess. They let you check on your evidence and review things. A map of London and the surrounding area. It Watson! A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No, but we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I wish to impale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. You should have grabbed one when you were there, bruh. I need to take a harpoon. God damn it, I was just there. Uh, if I had known. That's... <laughs> that sucks balls. So most of these I can complete.
Okay. Madam, don't mind me. I'm just going to run in and steal one of your uh, husband's belongings. That should do it. Now I am ready for the experiment. <laughs> 